Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out the Born This Way foundation that everybody's been raving about. Now this foundation came out like last year, a couple years ago, I don't remember, but it's been a while when it first came out and it's funny because it, it, it got hyped up, but like lately now, I guess because of the uh, Born This Way Too Faced uh, concealer they hyped up the foundation again and anyway so when it first came out the first time I tried it and I wasn't a huge fan of the foundation because I just felt like it didn't wear as long and I don't, I don't know I guess I didn't try it enough times to really love it and I was just kind of like meh about it so I am going to be testing it out today I do have a sample that I got though because like I said I've tried it before and I wasn't like convinced but my sister's like obsessed with that foundation she loves it but I'm just worried about the longevity and all that good stuff so Today I'm going to be testing it out and just showing you guys how it looks on the face. Well, this is how it looks on the face. I have it on my face right now. So far, so good. I am loving it, you guys. It looks great. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a couple of hours of wear and let's just see how this foundation does. If y'all want to see how I feel about the foundation and just checkups, a full review, then please keep watching. I have my sample here. Now I believe this is nude beige, this shade right here that I'm gonna be using. I hope, it looks a little too light, so I hope, the other one is way lighter. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna be, oh, first I'm gonna prime my face. I'm gonna be using the Flower Beauty In Your Prime Hydrating Primer. I've been loving this primer a lot. I don't know what it is about my face lately. It just gets, you know, pretty dry, and so I've been loving like hydrating primers. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Now this doesn't make me greasy. That's why I like it. So like I, I feel like it won't affect the foundation really. It is hydrating but it's more like an internal hydrating hydration I can feel. It's not like a super glowy or anything like that type of foundation. So okay, now I'm going to go and start putting some of this foundation on one side of my face. Oh my god, I'm telling you I feel like it's going to be... No, I think it might be good. I'm going to put a little bit. That should be good for now. And I'm going to use my sponge to start blending it out. Like, I just remember last time, it didn't last as long on my face as I wanted it to. I think that's what my problem was. So we'll see today how long it lasts. The coverage seems pretty good. It's like a medium coverage. But it covered up that pimple. I don't know if you guys saw it. It covered it up pretty well. It's nice and liquidy. It's not a thick consistency at all. Okay, so I'm done. One side. Sorry. It looks like a very healthy, pretty, like, foundation. Let me add another little layer. We'll do another layer. Yeah, if it were me, I would get probably like the darker shade that's below that. But that's because I'm pretty tan right now, kind of. Yeah, it's a little light. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the sponge side. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side with the brush. I'm going to use my trusty Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki brush. Um, I know everybody's about the Morphe life, but I still feel like Sigma has amazing brushes, you guys. Yes, they are a little bit more money, but this brush has lasted me forever. So again, I'm gonna go dot this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put like the double layer now. I don't know. I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm gonna start blending this out. Oh, I probably should not have put this much because I forget with the brush you get way more coverage. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Looks pretty good to me. So I am done applying the foundation and honestly, I feel like it looks the same on both sides. Yeah, I don't really find a huge difference. I'm going to go ahead and add just a tad bit right there. 
I feel like this foundation looks very pretty. It gives you such a natural finish. And it's not like dry matte. It's not like dewy. It's just like a semi matte. And it looks very, very pretty, you guys. Very healthy. I love it. I love how it's looking right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add some concealer. I'm going to be using my NYX HD Concealer in the shade 04, I believe. Yes. I'm going to use a little bit of the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light. Um, wait, Light 18? No. Yes. Now I'm going to go ahead and cream contour a little bit. I'm going to be using my, contour, my Wet n Wild Makeup Stick in the shade Where's Walnut. I'm going to use my Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to go ahead and set all of this with my RCMA Translucent Powder. I have it in my Mary Kay little container that I used to have for that powder. To set my cream contour, I'm going to use my Park Avenue Princess palette. I got this uh, like a week ago. I got this palette when it was on sale for like, what, $27? I don't even remember, but you guys, it is beautiful. I highly recommend it. My sister even bought it back up because it was so good. I love it. I just think it's so great, and I got it for such a steal price, so. I'm going to be taking the Angel shade, yeah, this one right here, and this big blush brush from uh, Real Techniques, sorry. Um, I'm going to be uh, dusting off the under eye, and I'm just going to use this uh, e.l.f. Small Tapered Blush Brush. I love using it for under my eyes. So I'm going to use the shade Enhance, which is this shade right there. For blush, I'm taking my Becca Cosmetics bl uh, Blush gonna use a little bit of these two right there actually just this one I want it to be a little more neutral because I don't know what I'm gonna do for my eyes yet and I don't want to mess with that so I'm gonna use this brush real quick and just apply that I'm gonna be spraying my face with my Mario Badescu uh, spray but I put it in here just because the packaging over there sucked so Taking my Morphe M510 brush, I'm going to take my Flower Beauty uh, highlighting, what is it, Shimmery Strobe Highlighting Palette. I used to use the shit out of this back in the day. <laughs> back in the day, just kidding. When it first came out. And I still love this palette, you guys. I've raved about it before, I'm pretty sure, on my channel. I'm just going to apply it there. It's such a beautiful, very finely milded palette. Like, it has no glitter in it, so it's going to give you that very pretty, um, subtle highlight. Well, no, it's not going to be subtle, but it's not going to give you a lot of texture. That's what I mean. Sorry, I'm waiting for the side to get a little more dry, because I don't want it to skip on me now. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is the finished face right now. I'm going to go ahead and do my eye makeup. That's going to be a different video, you guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be right back. Okay, so I just finished doing my eyes. Oh, my God, you guys. Look at this look. If y'all want to see how I got this look, like I said, it, it probably already went up. <laughs> Anyways, so um, this is what the foundation looks like, you guys. So far, what time is it? It is 11.20. Melanie just took my phone, so I can't literally show you proof. But guys, it's 11.20, trust me, in the afternoon, in the morning. It's gonna be afternoon. And this is what my foundation looks like. I am obsessed, actually, you guys, because I don't know what it was last time. I, the My problem with it was that it didn't last long. 
So today I'm a little bit nervous to see how it's gonna last throughout the day, but I'm actually kind of excited because it's looking really good. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. It looks so good. I kind of feel like it's already creasing here a little bit, so uh, I don't know. A lot of foundations do that, so I'm not like really um, strictly focusing on that today because all my foundations do that, I feel. But look at that. It looks very smooth. It looks very good, and I'm so, so, so excited to see how it's going to last throughout the day. So it's 1121. And let's just see what it's going to look like afterwards. Um, I'm going to try to keep you updated in like four hours probably. I'm going to go walk main, which is... Sorry, let me zoom back out. <laughs> I'm going to go walk main. And so I'm going to be out sweating, out and about. It's pretty hot here in Texas right now. So let's see how it holds. Okay, so it is currently 321. Um, oh, Sorry you guys can see that whatever it's been probably four hours now and this is what the foundation looks like let me zoom in so as y'all can see it it's kind of getting into my fine lines like my smile lines right now but it's nothing super bad every foundation does that like I said it just it does because I smile a lot and uh, I'm a happy person I'm just kidding so yeah other than that, though, it looks really good, you guys. I haven't blotted. I haven't done anything, and I don't have to yet. My nose, normally by this time, if I have a crappy foundation, it starts coming off around here. But as y'all can see, it's not, and it looks pretty freaking good, you guys. Look at the forehead area. Yeah, it looks good. So far, so good. Um, I'll be back in like another couple hours. I don't know how many, but I, I will be back to show you guys still how it's doing. So far, so good. Okay guys, so it is currently 11.50, y'all see that shit? It is way too late right now. Um, it has been how many hours from 11 to 11? Isn't that like 12 hours? I've been wearing this shit for 11 hours. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, look right here. It's like coming off on my nose here, it's pretty much off on this area here, but you look at the side like everything else looks really great and I'm very happy with everything can y'all see the forehead not bad not too bad I know it's late and it's probably doesn't even look the best but I really wanted to show you guys the ending the end result like I didn't want to just not do it and be like oh well sorry I didn't do it I mean at least you guys can still see right now what the foundation looks like if you ask me do I approve the born this way to face foundation yes I do go buy it I think it's great I have combination to oily skin by the way combination skin I have a really oily t-zone and I have a um, normal face I guess you can say it doesn't get really greasy as you can see everything else is great my two zone was a little oily okay I'm done I'm rambling <laughs> I'm gonna go take a shower and take my ass to bed because I gotta be up at like 545 in the morning and it is 1154 <sighs> Lord help me okay love you guys bye